There we go. I'm just gonna use my flashlight, dude. The candles are not doing much. <gasps> dude, someone's upstairs. Wild animals or uh, wild paranormal in entities. Oh, the moon is shining. <gasps> What's up guys, welcome to my channel, this is Game IT here and today I'm gonna be playing a game called Lunacy Saint Roads. According to the blurb on the Steam page, Lunacy Saint Roads is a first person survival horror game, exploring a dark family history and make meaningful choices that alter the course of the game. You are being watched, never alone, never safe. Let's jump in. What's this? We got a demonic lady making her hair. Is this a cutscene or a trailer or just a dream? Or a nightmare? Oh yeah, it's a nightmare dude, let's go. Okay, I'm awake. I am at some kind of office right now. Hello? Hello sir, who Hello, is it? Hello Mr. Rhodes. My name is Roy Millard. I work for the Wellsmith Police Department as a homicide detective. Oh, we got According a detective to talking records, to us. You are the sole inheritor of the Rhodes Mansion, which is located in the town of St. Rhodes. Have you completed the takeover of the property? Of course not, I guess. Oh, um, yeah. this is news to me. I, I hadn't been informed about inheriting any property. Free property, dude, let's I take see. it. <laughs> the problem is... We've discovered a connection between your house and a previous case I investigated almost 10 years ago. Okay, and I don't want the mansion. It's probably hunted by paranormal ghosts, you know? I don't building. want that. When you arrive, you can also sign some legal paperwork to formalize your ownership of the property. Okay. Sure, I can do that. Uh, but I'd like to view the property first. That's a good choice. Okay, then. I'll be on my way to the town right now. Let us meet at the mansion entrance. All right, detective. I'll be there in a few hours. Okay, cool. Let's okay. go. See you then. See you, bro. A few moments later. I'm in the game? Yeah, I'm in the game. Why is this so dark? Can I have a flashlight? Finally, a game that gives me a flashlight. And I think it's a bit too dark. I'm gonna adjust the brightness. Okay, there we go. I can see some stuff clearly now. It feels strange to be here. After more than two decades. Two decades. Keep out. What is this sign doing over here? I don't believe this man or that detective is really suspicious. Why does he want me to go in an abandoned forest? Okay, not exactly abandoned. We got a guest over here eating some grass. Hello. Good what are you doing over here, dear? Okay, he's gone. You can open or close the doors with left mouse button. Like, I don't know that. From what little time I spent in the house of St. Rhodes, I have only unpleasant memories. Recently, yeah, not a good I've sign. started having nightmares, like recently visions. I'm sure they're about my experiences here a long time ago. Dude, why are you here? I spent part of my childhood years in this godforsaken town. Until I was forced to leave due to a terrible incident. Well, my starting brain. Massacre. Good time, Rain. In my glasses. Okay. So the protagonist had a really bad time at this in this city because of the thunderstorm, I guess. So loud, dude. So we got a small cabin or a shed in the middle of a forest. Door is blocked. Use the window, of course. Let's go in. Without the flashlight, I can't see a thing. Uh, hello? A anyone home? Home? Is this a home? In the middle of a forest? Yes. It's probably haunted by demons and it's abandoned. Dude, candles are lit. The detective was here, I guess. The candles are lit. Maybe Officer Millard was here. Yeah, that might be the case. A few moments later. Light up the candle, maybe? Give the lighter, light the candle. There we go. I'm just gonna use my flashlight, dude. The candles are not doing much. <gasps> dude, someone's upstairs running around. 
in the house. I am not alone in here, guys. There is someone in here with me. <gasps> we got a staircase. Let's go up or maybe explore the house. It's locked. Locked. This door seems to be the only way to the other part of the town. Okay, so this has to be unlocked one way or another. I am not touching this basement door, dude. I'm not going to the basement of a of a house that has been abandoned since decades. All right, um, now in the attic, guys, there was someone in here. Wait, so we got a chest. We got another chest. Navigate your way through the village. Find a way to go back to the village. Find a way to open the jewelry box. I've got a lot of stuff to do over here. Dude, the door is open. The door is open. Okay, I thought that was someone sitting on the chair. It would have been really cool if that was a random jump scare. It's just a demo. I cannot complain. Okay, in the attic, there was someone over here before me. Yo, 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 yo. Okay, it's just a chains. Just the chains. Okay, got a key. This looks like a key for a small box. Okay, it's the key for a jewelry box. Got a random paper with a random skull on it. Okay, I didn't have the time to read this. I'm not gonna read all of these papers, dude. It's not the right time to do it. Okay, alright guys. Yo, 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 what is that? Oh, dude. That gun was in the house. Dude. Close the windows. Make sure the windows are closed, dude. Oh my god. Okay, so this is now getting a bit scary. What is this? Fuse box. I don't have any fuses with me. Okay, so let's open this jewelry box. Use the key. What is this? A paper that has a lot of stuff written on it. Which I'm probably not gonna read, dude. Exit it. Whoa, what is this? Got a, we got a crystal? Okay, to keep the crystal, open the inventory. All right, guys, so according to the pages, the crystal should give me some powers that would allow me to see the other world, I guess. A curious looking ornamental crystal that gives off the impression of having some kind of secret power. Okay, keep the crystal. Okay, the crystal is a lot brighter than a flashlight. Okay, after keeping the crystal, hold and release the charge button to activate it. Okay, I am charging the crystal and release the crystal. It is now activated. Let's go. The crystal shows you interdimensional objects that you could use or pick up. Okay, let's explore the house with the crystal. There should be now some stuff in here that was not here before. We should be able to see some new stuff around here. Okay, that was not here before. That was not here before. The key disappeared in front of me. Give me the key. Be careful. The use of crystal may attract other interdimensional entities. What? Oh, dude! Hello, can you come in? Go away! You just killed that poor guy. Okay, so I'm not gonna use the crystal 24-7. It is not safe. It attracts other paranormal people, which I don't want anywhere near me. Give me the flashlight. Unlock the door. Alright, guys. The door has not unlocked, and there was a random guy watching me through the window and was killed by me okay not by me by the crystal four to six days later okay so this is a very important thing a map of saint rose i discovered this map and anderson's house a few moments later so now we have a map and i need to get to the house and it is a long way before i can get to it okay all right keep going now i have the map i should not get lost now what is abandoned village read the journal exploring saint roads abandoned village it seems that after the terrible incident saint roads is entirely abandoned to his fate I mean to its fate, it's not a person. But there is something heavy in the air that pervades the entire forest, an ominous feeling that is forcing itself to manifest. Some of the buildings are on the verge of collapse. They don't seem to have one more year left in them. Anyway, I should keep the noise down. I am not in the civilized world anymore. There might be wild animals nearby and I don't want to attract their attention. Wild animals or wild paranormal entities. Oh, the moon is shining. <gasps> dude, that scared me. Whoa, run, dude. Where did this come from? It's true. Stagger the shadow. Activate the crystal around them. Crystal, get the crystal. Go away. Take this. Let me go. Oh, they're dead. Or they're just stunned. Dude, they're everywhere. 
Oh my god. Help me, oh, bro. Stop chasing me so I can help you. You know? Okay, I'm just gonna hide in this cabin. And wait until they go away. Whoa. Uh, this actually worked. This small shed saved my life. Thank you very much, shed. Check the map. Okay, I have to go left, maybe. Okay. Uh, left or here, I guess. Go, 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 go. Dude, 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 no, no, no. Charge the crystal, dude, charge the crystal. We're running. I'm sorry. But you guys are scary. And want to kill me. You guys, I think I'm almost there. This is the gate. Main entrance of the mansion. Open this up, ASAP. Come on. Oh, dude, he's right behind me. Close this. Can I close this? Can I go? <gasps> Dude, I don't care. I don't care. Go, 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 go. Keep running. Keep running. Keep running. Okay, no one is following me. We got the mansion. We got the house. We're in the house. Locked. The spare key must be around somewhere. Old habits die hard. Dude, he's still speaking. Dude, what is that? What is that? Is that a ghost? Is this a ghost with the big, big, big killing instrument? <laughs> Who's that, dude? Okay, so I was saying this guy is still speaking calmly even after seeing ghosts, you know? This guy is very chill and brave. Okay, here's the key. Give him the key. Alright, guys, I'm now going inside the house in the middle of the forest. Yo! Uh, hello, can I help you? Okay, that same guy the, who was behind me with the big killing instrument just snapped my neck. Is this the ending of the demo? Yeah, end of the demo. Thank you for playing. Alright guys, so I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so I can create more awesome stuff for you guys. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Take care.